Back inside Potato Holic, Brian is tidying up the performance area, ever mindful of the health and safety risks posed by a loose potato. Hello, Brian Nisbet. Oh, Rosie, hello, how are you? It's Brian's wife, Rosie, calling from New Zealand. Oh, not so good here too. Uh, just cleaning up after the guy. Yeah, well, Brett yelled out, throw us your potatoes. Well, exactly. So there's a mess everywhere and they've taken off, so here I am cleaning up after them. Have you? What's happened? There's trouble brewing back home in Taranaki. Oh, you're joking me. Trevor. <sighs> Every year this happens. Well, for heaven's sake, have you, how, have you got it out? Is it still in there? <sighs> I know, I know. Well, I mean, I'm not there now. I can't deal with things when I'm not there, Rosie. Yep, yep, that's right. Get the rugby guys. I'll call you back. Bye bye. It's unbelievable. It's tonight. We've been waiting for this. They're so excited ever since we've been I've never won anything in my life. It's, it's fantastic. It's going to be great. And Kim's a fantastic win? cook. We won the honour of cooking you dinner in our home tonight, which was what you said in the email. Those are your words. Oh, how did you win that? The, with a f to the c dot co He's dot joking, Kevin. He's joking. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I get it. No, totally. Yeah, cool. Um, so, I mean, we can go anytime you want. This is fantastic. It's <laughs> great. I think we just better talk to our manager for a little while. It was nice oh. to meet you. Brian, there's some people outside saying they've won a competition. <sighs> what? Some... Is it a competition? They reckon uh, they won Tracy's. Tracy and something? Yeah, it's a competition I've set up. It's an online competition to win You win an evening with you guys. But they said it's tonight. Yep, yep, tonight it is. That's right. Well, but, what, you didn't tell us about it, though. I was going to tell you at the next band meeting. When's that? Tomorrow. But we've got to go oh, there tonight. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, I didn't look into it properly in terms of, you know, that. I'm not doing it. No, you've got to Why do should it. we? No, you've Why got to do, we it. do it. They're your biggest fans, okay? Well, I thought we only had two fans. Yeah, well, that's them. They obviously got online and entered the... the competition. Oh, that's the fan base yeah, you're talking about. that's the fan base. Oh. Okay, we make it sound like there's a lot, but really it's just those two. So they just had they to win? Yeah, of course they did. They're the only ones in it. I mean, I've set this up. It's a great idea. Not only do you get to be in close in touch with those that love you, it's a great way for you to get a free feed. Well, we don't even know them. Oh, it doesn't right. matter. You'll know them after yeah, they tonight. Might be, they might, who knows what they're going to do to us? No, they're they might great. Chop us I've up. Sent, no, I've sent some of the pictures that they've sent of you. They've drawn a picture of you, Brett, a sketch. Hmm? They've done a, a, a reconstruction of Jermaine and a towel. They're very creative people. And they've asked me, what sort of food do you like? And I've sent an email telling them the best options for food for Macar you. Macaroni. Yeah, I've, I've, I've macaroni cheese oh, for, for Brett. And anything for Jermaine. Well, it does I mean, sound good. Are you going to come? Well, I can't. I haven't put myself in the competition. Well, I'm not. You know, I'm just a behind-the-scenes guy, aren't I? I mean, I've managed all this. Well, I'm not coming, though. No, you've got to go. Well, I'm not going if he's not going. Go. All professional musicians must accept that promotion is as much part of the job as performance. So Brett and Jermaine agree to be the prize in Brian's online competition. That night, they literally sing for their supper in the home of the lucky winners. I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, Tracy, live from our living room, Woo! I give you Flight of the Concord. Go! Woo! Woo! I just want to do something special for all the ladies. Wanna do something special for all of the lay downs in the world? I want around the world. Not wanting to let down either one of the crowd, Brett and Jermaine pick favourite after favourite from their repertoire. In Babylon, Babylon, too many rules in Babylon. In the now, in the now. From the lady, from the lady, you're not looking bad tonight, and in the pub. 
colors when the love is in the night Into the fake candlelight and the color of the moonlight You look alright While the band enjoy a meet and eat with their fans, Brian is back home, dining alone. But it's a working dinner, because there are important business calls to be made. Oh, hello, sorry. I was just eating a banana. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just on hold. I thought I'd had enough time for a banana there. Um, yes, yeah, sorry. Did you, so have you heard the demo? Well, they're a band from New Zealand, the two of them. Oh, did you? Uh, sorry, mate. Look, hang on. I've actually got someone coming through on the other line. Hang on a tick. Hello? Brian's wife, Rosie, calls again. Oh, hello, Rosie. From the Taranaki Tavern on the other side of the world. Uh, what's happened? Oh, you're joking me. Oh, no. Right, so there's beer filling up on the floor. Oh, my God. Well, so what are you going to do? Sorry, look, I'm just eating a banana. Yes, exactly. Coax it out. Perhaps bring something red down and, and wave it. And get it to come towards you or something. Get it to chase you out of there. Yep, give that a go and call us back. God. All right, bye-bye. Hello, you still there? Sorry about that. Um, so how did you find the, the demo? Okay, well, well, thanks anyway. Yeah. Two hours later, with sore fingers, hoarse throats, and no songs left, the Concords are forced to play some of their newer, untried material. Someone ate my cake again. So ate my cake. The show is over. Brett and Jermaine have nothing left to give. Their musical well is dry, and the bucket has fallen off, spilling nothing but song dust. Kipper fetches his special scrapbook to show the band, startling Brett and Jermaine slightly with the extent of his collection. That's, uh, that's you, uh, Brett. What are you doing? I don't know, I'm just looking. Yeah. Just show Jermaine the one of him sleeping. It's two pages along. Sleeping? Yeah. There's one of you. Because you look so peaceful. So vulnerable. How did you get that photo? He's dreaming of your next song and... Well, we just, you know, we... So where's that one? Is that at the hotel? What was that? Yeah. Is that through the, through the window? How did you get... Is that through the... How did you get that one? There, there were those French doors, weren't there? Is that... There's pretty much no security in that place. No. So, no, that was really easy you know, to get that one. It's, um... <coughs> Do you have a cat? Oh, Jermaine's oh. allergic to cats. But... Jermaine's allergic to Jermaine, isn't that ironic? Wow. Oh, is your cat called Jermaine? Yeah, we called him Jermaine. Oh, right. We have a little ferret called uh, Brett, too. <laughs> the ferret. <laughs> I'll introduce him to you. Do you always make him wear the glasses? Okay. Not always, no. It's just like we knew you were coming over and we had In the them. evenings and stuff. It's... Yeah, it looks yeah. like he does actually look like Jermaine. 